This video is going to teach how we can solve cost, mixture, and percent mixture word problems. These are some of the toughest types of word problems until you learn the pattern and then they become a lot easier. So what are the steps for solving cost, mixture, and percent mixture word problems? Well, step one is to define your variables. Step two is going to be to create a table. Now what kind of table are we talking about? Well, the key relationship when you're dealing with percents is that the solution times the percent is equal to the substance, the amount of the substance. So let me write this down on a table here. So here's our table. We have solution 1, we have solution 2, and we have the mix here. Now what are the different columns here? Here we have the amount of solution, here we have the percent substance, whatever the substance happens to be, and then we have the amount of substance. Okay, so these are the three categories. One important thing to notice, as I mentioned, is that the amount of solution times the percent is equal to the amount of substance. That means that's true for every single row here. So this times this box equals that, this box times this box equals that, and this box times this box equals that. So this is a table that you should create. So step three fill out the whole table using multiplication. So once you get this box and this box for example you're going to get this box by multiplying and so on. You do this for all three rows. Okay. Next step Step four. This is the important part. You're going to create a system of equations. Where are you going to get the system from? You're going to use this row, sorry, this column and this column. To be more specific, we know that the solution in each one has to add up to the amount in the mix and the amount of substance in each one has to add up to give us the amount of substance in the mix. So create a system of equations using the first and third columns. Step five. We're going to solve the system using elimination or substitution. Finally, step six, the most important part of any word problem is to answer the question. All too often, people just put x equals whatever. They don't actually solve the word problem, say, and answer the question in English, which is important. Okay, so let's do our first problem here. So number one, it says, how many ounces of a 9% alcohol solution and how many ounces of a 17% alcohol solution must be mixed to obtain 12 ounces of a 15% alcohol solution? So we're going to let x equal the amount of 9% solution. Well, we have another thing that we're missing too, right? It says how many of each one. That's only the first solution. So we're going to let y equal the amount of 17% solution. Let's go ahead and build our table here. So 
this is going to be the solution one. This is going to be solution two, and this is the mix. We should be more specific with what we mean by one and two. So let's make this the nine percenter. Let's make this the 17 percenter. And notice it says that the mix is 15 percent. So I'm just going to put this here. This is going to be the amount of, um, sorry, this is going to be the amount of, let's see, in this problem we're talking about alcohol. So actually first we'll say solution. This is the amount of solution. So this is going to be the percent alcohol, and this is going to be the amount of alcohol. Let's go ahead and fill in the percents. This is the easiest part, so I usually do this first. 0.17 and 0.15. The amount of solution, that's what we're looking for, right? We know x is the amount of 9%, so I'm going to put an x there. We know that y is the amount of 17%, so I'm going to put that there. 15%, we know we have 12 ounces, so I'm going to put a 12 there. Finally, remember to get the third column, we have to multiply the first two, because we know that this times this equals that. So x times 0.09 is 0.09x, y times 0.17 is 0.17y, 12 times 0.15 is 1.8. So what are our two systems? We know that these have to add, and the top two have to add to the third here as well. So let's write that down in system form. We know that x plus y equals 12, and 0.09x plus 0.17y equals 1.8. I'm going to use substitution to solve this. That means in this equation, I'm going to solve for x. So I know that x is equal to 12 minus y. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to replace it for x in the bottom one. I end up with 0.09 times 12 minus y plus 0.17y equals 1.8. Distribute this. 0.09 times 12 is 1.08 minus 0.09y plus 0.17y equals 1.8. Combine my like terms, we get negative 0.09y and 0.17y. I get 0.08y plus 1.08 equals 1.8. Subtract 1.08 from both sides. I end up with 0.08y equals... 0.72 divide by 0.08 I end up with y equals 9. Now once I get y equals 9 I can plug it into here as with substitution we end up with x equals 12 minus 9 or x equals 3. So how would we write this as a solution? Well I would say 3 ounces of 9% alcohol solution and 9 ounces of 17% alcohol solution are needed for the mix. And that is it for problem one. Let's do the next example. We're going to do problem two here. How many ounces of pure juice and how many ounces of a drink containing 10% juice should be mixed to get 120 ounces of a fruit drink that is 25% juice? Okay, so again, we're going to let X and Y be our unknowns. So let's let X equal the amount of fruit juice. Actually, I should be a little more specific. I mean pure juice. And we're going to let y equal the amount of 10% juice. That's what the 
they're asking us for, right? How much of each should we mix? So again, we're going to have our table here. Let me write that down. So we have uh, pure juice here. Let's remember that pure juice is actually 100% juice. Then we have 10% juice. And then we have the mix, which is 25%. Next we have the amount of juice solution. We have the percent juice. And then we have amount of pure juice. Let's start filling in what we know. We know there's X of this and Y of this, and notice it says there's 120 ounces in the mix, so this is going to be 120. Next, as far as percents go, since it's 100%, we need to convert that to a decimal. That actually becomes 1. 10% becomes 0.10, 25% becomes 0.25. Let's go ahead and multiply now. We know that this times this equals that. So we end up with x here. We end up with 0.10y here. We end up with 25 times 0.1, sorry, 0.25 times 120, which is 30. So what are our two equations going to be? We're going to get it from this guy and from this guy. We know that they have the top two have to add to the bottom. So we end up with x plus y equals 120. And our other equation is x plus 0.1y equals 30. So we're going to do this using elimination this time. So I'm going to subtract, or multiply the bottom equation by negative 1. I end up with negative x minus 0.1y equals negative 30. And the top one is x plus y equals 120. Add the two equations together, the x's cancel. We're left with y minus 0.1y is 0.9y equals 90. Divide both sides by 0.9 we end up with y equals 100. Once we get y is 100, we can use any of the equations over here. So I'm going to use this equation right here. So I know that x plus 100 equals 120. Subtract 100 from both sides. I get x is equal to 20. That means I need 20 ounces of pure, oops, I'm sorry, wait, let me see here, no, this is correct, X was the amount of pure juice, right? So 20 ounces of pure juice and 100 ounces, 100 ounces and 100 ounces of 10% juice. Sorry for the ringing phone, by the way. Let's do our question number three here. This will be our last one. How many pounds of peanuts? Now, this will look a little different, although the setup is exactly the same. How many pounds of peanuts that sell for 180 per pound should be mixed with cashews that sell for 450 per pound so that a 10 pound mixture is obtained that will sell for 261 per pound? All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, setting this up. We're first going to create our variables. We're going to let x equal the quantity of peanuts. And we're going to let y equal the quantity of cashews. I didn't want to put the word amount because that might confuse you into thinking we mean the cost. Uh, we're talking about amount might mean cost. So let me just deal with quantity here. So quantity of cashews. 
So we have our table that I want to create again. We have the amount of nuts right here. We have the cost per pound. And then here we have the total cost. Notice that the cost per pound multiplied by the amount of nuts that we have is equal to the total cost. When I say amount, I mean quantity, of course. Let me write down the different types. We have peanuts, we have cashews, and we have the mix here. Remember, x is the amount of peanuts, so that's going to go here. y is the amount of cashews, so that's going to go here. And the mix, it says, is 10, because there's a 10-pound mixture. So I put a 10 there. Now, the cost per pound is also given in the problem. This is 180 per pound. This one is 450 per pound. And this is $2.61 per pound. Finally, the total cost you get by multiplying them together. So $1.80 per pound times x is 1.80x. 450 times y is 4.50y. And then 2.61 times 10 is 26.1. So now let's go ahead and write our system of equations. So we have this one right here and this one right here. Those are our two systems, or our two equations, I should say. When I, mean, when I circle these two, I mean remember that the, um, the amounts have to add, right? I know that the quantities of each one have to add up to the quantity of the mix, and I know that the co total cost of each one has to add up to the total cost of the mix. So now I'm ready to write my equation down. I have x plus y equals 10, and I also have 1.80x, or 1.8x you can always write, plus 4.5y is equal to 26.1. Again, I think the best uh, course of action here is to use substitution. So I'm going to solve for x in this top equation again. So if I subtract y from both sides, I get x equals 10 minus y. I take that and I substitute it in for x right here. I end up with 1.8 times 10 minus y plus 4.5y equals 26.1. Now I distribute. 1.8 times 10 is 18. 1.8y plus 4.5y equals 26.1. Combine my like terms. Negative 1.8y plus 4.5y is 2.7y. And this is an 18. And this is equal to 26.1. Subtract 18 from both sides. I get 2.7y equals 8.1. Divide both sides by 2.7. You get y equals 3. Remember, we did this with substitution, so that means if I take this guy and substitute it in right there, I actually get x equals 10 minus 3, or x equals 7. That means I have 7 pounds of peanuts and 3 pounds of cashews are needed for the mix. Okay, and so that is it for these mixture problems. I recommend you practice quite a bit as once, so these are initially hard, but once you do them enough times, they actually get much, much easier. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.